So I thought I'd make this quick video going over why conditional uh, formulas are super important when dealing with clay.com, right? Because obviously uh, the credits are very expensive and you want to save, uh, you want to save as many as you can and, and not really waste a lot of them. Like I just, <laughs> like I just did. So let's go over exactly what I did. So I scraped the list from Crunchbase. So the problem with this is, so as you can see here in this Google sheet, some contact data oh, is duplicate, right? So we have swivel.ai multiple times. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to enrich the company in this case, the company slash organization, not necessarily the contact individually, right? And so what I need to do is I need to create and remove the duplicates that are exist in the original prospecting list. So what I did here is I just created a simple formula. It's called equals unique. And then the, the column where the row starts and then where to end super simple. And so as you can see here, this gives us roughly, I, I think it's like 500 contact information, but I only need to enrich the company organization. So here I have it only giving me the unique values in this data set. So obviously here, it's only a hundred something compared to 500, 600. So that means only using 170 clay credits as opposed to potentially five to 600 clay credits. So now what we want to do here, and this is where I messed up and this is why I'm making you guys this video. So you don't repeat the same mistake I did. So in this case you want to do, let's say, um, and I'll go, I'll give you the reason why I messed up. So when you run this formula, which is a search Google, query, search query, normal search query. What I did, I did run column, force run all 520. The problem is obviously I'm searching for unique domains. And the problem is there is I don't have 500 unique domains. Remember I have 169 or 170, whatever the case is. So what this did was it found 170, but after 170, look what happens. It used the Google search query, which is one credit, which is expensive, and it provided no output because there are no more unique domains. So the problem, what I need to do here for next time is I need to do a conditional formula. So I simply just did the AI generator and it says only use if slash column, the one you're checking against exists, otherwise do not run. January formula, click yes, accept. And so now look what happens when I try to do it. So even if I click run column 520 rows, the rest of the 500 columns or rows, I'm sorry, would not be running. So I would have saved 400, 500 credits if I just simply did a conditional formula. So I hope this helps. Be sure to leave a comment in the, in the comment section down below of how you're utilizing Clay today. And I hope this helps at least one person out there. Thank you so much. Bye.